Hello. I'm Pike, and I have dissociative identity disorder. I am a little in a DRD system. I am nine years old right now. I like dinosaurs. I like learning new crevices of the world. I'm really interested in science. It's really fun. And our system has a question that needs to be answered because we want to help people understand DID, Dissociative Identity Disorder, to help other people understand it as well. I don't know if they want me to answer the question, so I guess I'll just talk a bit because I don't really get to talk to people outside. Um, I stay in a world a lot. In a world, we have a park and we have the ocean and we have different cities. In a world, I don't know if you guys watch DRD stuff, but Inner World is where, well, like, this is the frontal lobe, I guess, but back is where all the good stuff is. I think Nicole is, she said I'm doing awesome. Um... So, I don't know what self-diagnosis is. The question is why self-diagnosis is valid. What is... I don't know what's... A, yes, I have DID. I never self-diagnosed myself. When I... Because I'm younger and the body is 29, I think. I don't... I think it... I'm not sure, but, um, when I was a kid, I knew we were different a little bit, but I didn't know that it was because there was multiples of us. I just kind of thought that I was a weird kid, but I'm a cool kid, but just in my own way. When I was little, I remember, um, I know they're not allowing me to say it, but I would cross my eyes like this, <laughs> and I think I was dissociating, um, but I don't remember it being dissociating and nobody ever really talked to me about it because I just thought it was normal things everything that I thought I did was normal and I thought that everyone just lived like me <clears throat> I was a cool kid um they don't want me to talk about her other though because a lot of her being around me, that really made a difference in our life. But you have to know that there's a problem. Yeah. Hi, I'm Nicole. Um. My self-diagnosis is valid. <laughs> you have to self-diagnose yourself. You have to know that there is a problem in order to relay that problem on to somebody that knows how to help you or where you feel like your atten the attention is needed. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. They're asking me if I remember what I said a little bit. Um, no, I don't remember. <laughs> Okay, self-diagnosis. Sorry. I think we're nervous, so I kind of switchy.
And I think a few of us want to talk about it. And I'm one of them. If I didn't know that I had a problem... No, I'm good. If I didn't know that I had a problem... <laughs> DRD is hard. It's very hard. If I didn't know that there was something wrong with me to go get help, then I would have never went and got help. I would have never figured out that I was a system. I would have just thought how I thought for a long ass time that it was my conscience just telling me what to do right and Then when I started noticing that I had a problem, oh God, I'm Blendy. When I started noticing that I had a problem, you start repeating yourself. What's up? I'm Troy. I'm a persecutor in a DID system. Now I'm gonna talk about it. I don't really, I didn't have to self-diagnose. It was her problem. It was never my problem. She had to see somebody to recognize us. And then we started coming out because we were being recognized and knowing what to look for. She started looking shit up on the internet. What's up? I already said my name. I'm Trig. I guess I'm Blendy with Nicole. I don't know. She gets nervous when I shit. Anyways. You need to know that there's something wrong with you in order for you to get help about anything. Whether it be education, your body, just trying to learn yourself. And then noticing the differences as time goes on. And then you're like, I should Google this shit or I should do something. I should research it. Research it. I can't. <laughs> And figure it out. Put the symptoms together and then you figure it out, right? That's what you do when you're sick. But it's it's easier with a bodily condition to notice that there's a problem. When you have mental problems. She says she don't never remember hearing voices, but when Munchie and my bad, she likes to be called Mushi. When Mushi split, then Nicole started actually talking to Mushi out loud. She was because they were in an abusive relationship. She was sitting there. And, talking to Mushi and just having conflicting opinions about shit. They would be like, you like him? And Nicole would be like, I love him. And Mushi would be like, I fucking hate him. So after that point, she felt like, like, who the fuck am I talking to? But she accepted it because it was comforting at the time. It's still comforting now, but Mushi don't come out too much. She's cool as fuck. And I'm based off of their abuser, my norm. And a few of us are. I'm getting off track. Um, I'm a, <laughs> I already said I'm a persecutor and a DID system persecutor is someone that persecutes. Uh, I love, I just love in my own way. I am Blendy with Nicole. Oh, I thought she was going to pay rent. Hmm? Talking about... <laughs> oh. If we would have never started coming out, talking to her, being more communicative with her, she wouldn't have never discovered us. 
And then after that point, she started Googling shit. And then she started YouTubing videos of people that have the condition, seeing if she, her situation is common with what's going on with other people. What were you saying? I am Nicole. Ooh. Let me get myself some notes. Self-diagnosis is valid. It is necessary for you to know that there is something wrong with you. In order to go talk to somebody who can validate your experiences and know that it is real. Know that it exists. Know that it is a real condition that needs to be recognized as such. And not scared, but respected. It takes a village to raise a child. All right. And that's why self-diagnosis is valid. Have a good day.